the royal way of the cross from the following of Christ. To many persons, this seems a hard saying. Deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow me. But it will be much harder to hear that final sentence, depart from me, you cursed, into everlasting fire. Those who now willingly hear and accept this invitation to bear the cross will not then fear the sentence of eternal damnation. The sign of the cross will appear in the heavens when the Lord shall come to judge. Then will all the followers of the cross who in this life have conformed themselves to Christ come to him with great confidence. Why then do you fear? Take up the cross which opens to you the way to the kingdom. In the cross is salvation. In the cross is life. In the cross is protection against the enemy. In the cross is infusion of heavenly sweetness. In the cross is strength of heart. In the cross is joy of spirit. In the cross is the treasure of virtues. In the cross is perfection and holiness. There is no salvation of soul, nor hope of eternal life, except in the cross. Take up, therefore, your cross and follow Jesus, and you will enter into life everlasting. He has gone before you carrying his cross and has died for you on the cross that you might carry your cross and desire to die on the cross. For if you die with him, you shall also live with him. And if you are partakers of his sufferings, you shall also be partakers of his glory. Behold, all depends on the cross and dying on the cross. And there is no other way to life and to true interior peace than the way of the Holy Cross and daily mortification. Go where you will, seek what you will, and you shall not find a higher way above, nor a safer way below than the way of the Holy Cross. Arrange all things to your liking, yet you shall always find something to suffer, whether you will it or not. And thus, you always find the cross. For you shall either feel pain of body or suffer tribulation of spirit. At times, you will be forsaken by God. And at times, 
you will be tried by your neighbor. And what is more, you will often be a burden to your own self. Neither will you find relief in any remedy or solace, but you must bear it as long as it pleases God. For God wills that you learn to suffer desolation without consolation, so that you may wholly subject yourself to him and become more humble by tribulation. No one can feel so deep in his heart the sufferings of Christ as he who happens to suffer the like himself. The cross is always prepared and everywhere is waiting for you. You cannot escape it whithersoever you run. For wherever you go, you bring yourself along and always find yourself. Look upward or look downward. Look outward or look inward. And everywhere you will find the cross. And everywhere you must needs have patience if you will have interior peace and merit the eternal crown. If you willingly carry the cross, it will carry you and bring you to the desired goal, namely, where suffering will cease. But this will not happen here below. If you carry it reluctantly, you become a burden to yourself and increase your load, and yet you have to bear it. If you reject one cross, no doubt you will find another and perhaps a much heavier one. Do you presume to escape what no mortal man has been able to escape? Who among the saints has gone through life without the cross or suffering? Not even our Lord Jesus Christ was one hour without suffering so long as he lived upon the earth. It behooved Christ to suffer and to rise again from the dead and so to enter into his glory.